والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم Okay let's take this next question sister Sabrina from the United Arab Emirates we spoken about oaths in the last episode and you're breaking this down the concept of on what to do if somebody breaks an oath she says unfortunately i've broken many oaths in my time and you did question her she said the oaths were different things not the same thing um, she goes how do i go about repairing them all through my life i've made these oaths and i've broken them i'd like to broaden my answer to cover why i asked her uh, in the last episode i said were they all the same oath or were they different and what difference does it make mm -hmm. number one if there is uh, an oath that uh, for example, I said, somebody who was a smoker and said, Wallahi, I will quit smoking. Then he did. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to confirm this oath. So he said, uh, two days later, Wallahi, I will quit smoking. I swear I will never smoke. So he's swearing over and over, over the same thing. Then, uh, total was ten times that he made an oath not to smoke. Without violating any of them. Then at one time, he made a mistake and he broke his oath and he uh, started smoking. How many kafara does he owe? He owes only one kafara. Why? Because the different oaths were concerning one thing and before violating, but before violating this oath, not even once. But if he says, Wallahi, I will not smoke, then he returned back to smoke. Then he said, Wallahi, I will not smoke. Then he returned to smoke five times, ten times, and he did not pay the kafara yet, then he owes equal number of times of violations, kafara. Okay, there is another thing, which is, as the sister said, different oaths. Wallahi, I will not do that. I swear I will not visit so and so. I swear I will stop doing this. I swear, I swear, I swear, to do or not to do in the future. That's what we call it. al muna'aqidah. You intend and you confirm your intention by an oath, whether to do or not to do, then you fail to meet the requirement of this oath, and you violated it. Mm -hmm. Then years passed, you don't remember how many times you made an oath. You have to make a special effort to estimate approximately. Then if you came to find out maybe 20 times, make them a little extra. Uh, consider them 25, consider them 30. Why? Because this kafara is not dropped simply because you don't remember. It is something that you owe to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to be relieved from the burden of making an oath and not uh, being committed to fulfill it. So if you're not sure, you have to estimate how many times approximately and give extra. And the kafara, as we discussed in the last time, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا يؤاخذكم الله باللغو في أيمانكم Allah does not uh, blame you if you were making an oath without intention. And we discussed that in details before. Rather, He only holds you accountable. An oath in the future, whether to do or not to do. And you are confirming your statement with Wallahi or any of His names and attributes, then you fail to do it. Then, وَلَكِ يُؤَخِذُكُمْ بِمَا عَقَدْتُمُ الْأَيْمَنَ فَكَفَّارَتُهُ لَكَفَّارَ for such oath which has been broken or violated إِطْعَامُ عَشْرَةِ مَسَاكِينَ مِنْ أَوْسَطِ مَا تُطْعِمُونَ أَهْلِيكُمْ أَوْ كِسْوَتُهُ أَوْ تَحْرِيرُ رَقَبَةِ إِطْعَامُ كسوة or تحرير feeding clothing or ten of ten مساكين ten poor people or freeing a slave neck you have the choice to choose either one of the three what if he can't, if he cannot afford it financially? Then we, we, we go to the other alternative. فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ It's only if he cannot afford it. فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ Whoever cannot find, فَصِيَامُ ثَلَاثَةِ أَيَّامِ So then you should fast for three days. So if you violated an oath or ten oaths, ten times for instance, then you owe feeding a hundred persons or closing them. If you cannot afford it, then fasting three days for each oath, times 10 for innocence, that's 30 days. And you don't have to do them consecutively. Uh, it could be scattered, it could be Mondays and, uh, and, and Thursdays until you come to complete them, inshallah. Jazakal khair, Shaykh.